And Eric, I mean, the name of your company, Ford Edge AI, artificial intelligence, that could be that could scare someone from the very beginning. <laughs> so, yeah. so tell us, what does Ford Edge AI do? <laughs> yeah, Kevin, it scares me too. And, um, <laughs> I tell you, every time I, I listen to Josh, I'm just like blown away. When I was in college, I actually studied uh, physics. And uh, so uh, what Josh is doing is something called, um, well, when you look at space time, it's called a cube universe, um, which yeah. is kind of interesting. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're moving in, in the direction that Einstein talked about. But anyway, I'm- uh, That's how we see it too. Just yeah. <laughs> very cool, very cool. So anyway, so I'm Eric Adolfi and I'm a CEO and co-founder of Forward Edge AI. And as the name says, you know, we focus on bringing artificial intelligence to the edge. Um, that's how we came up with the name, right? And we think about, so we're talking about supply chain, protecting the supply chain. So there's a physical supply chain and there's also software, right? So as uh, these edge devices become uh, smarter, we have to start thinking about the software supply chain. And, and there's not enough work that's been done in that particular space. So as an example, it costs about $240,000 on average to deploy a new, and I'm going to use acronyms, AI ML algorithms, right? About $240,000. So a lot in industry um, have sort of, um, I don't want to say cut corners, but they're leveraging what's already existing, like pre-trained models um, to shorten that, uh, that life cycle development. The problem with that is we don't have a good sense of the provenance of the um, the, the model, right? Uh, and the data that it's being trained on. Yeah. So, we, so we did some fairly, um, you know, uh, straightforward tests to demonstrate what we're talking about. And it's very easy if we understand where those models came from. And a lot of times they come from the same places. We can very easily fool those algorithms to misclassify information, right? So I can trick one of the algorithms um, to think that an alligator is, in a, is a hammer, for example, right? It's, it's called a single pixel attack. So understanding and protecting the province of the models and the training data is going to be a huge problem as these devices become more and more intelligent. So people now are focusing on where, as, uh, as we were talking about earlier, as Dustin mentioned, where things are manufactured, well, we got to start thinking about where software is manufactured too, not just where it's manufactured, but where is it going? You know, what's the whole supply chain? So Ford Edge is tackling uh, this and other problems. 